When I was five, I was introduced to the rap game. Had to make change for an English kid, I knew my name. Now I'm much older, much older, back with a new attitude. Back when we tested for the two, then they called me true. Bad and mad than ever, still seeking my chance, man. I'm making cities sing right hits and dance, man. I knew you can hate on me, I could give a damn, man. To be the next best thing to make it break is my plan, man. Cold as ice, and I'm too cool to be hot. And I'll be all the things you claim you are, but not. Such a brainiac, I'll be cause I produce this here. Check out everybody want them, I call you that there. Stay fly all the time, finally spreading my wings. A man with my own plan, steady doing his own thing. Tell your boss who you roll with that I'm back to brain. But not to gain, so I'm not so straight off the chain. If you saw what I saw and did what I did, then you been through it all to be straight off the chain. Stay with frog and rough and get what I give. Then you truly are a genius, straight off the chain. Hey, now nah, shout it, but ain't time from the UK. Hey yo yo, what it do everybody? If y'all can hear that going, I got a lot going on activity on my computer, but I just wanted to play that so y'all can hear that my song Can't Leave Rap Alone is now a commercial success. It's playing all over the radio. See if I can fix it here and adjust the things here. It's hot though, man. I mean. That's me right there, son. So, as y'all can know that I'm in the game now for good. I just got approached the other day about um, it's the name again, um, the company, um, iHeartRadio, and um, we getting ready to do something big together. So, you guys need to check that out. And I'm, um, I want to say first and foremost, welcome back to the True Juice Show. We are finally in season two. You know what I'm saying? After all that fiasco we had when I was working with season one. Uh, some of my information's got messed up, but getting there. And I got a couple interviews coming up. I know I got to clean myself up and everything kind of, you know, fuzzy or whatever, you know, rough. Working on that. Um, I just want to keep y'all heads up and let y'all know that um, a lot of new things has been going on. Uh, I'm about to go ahead and conclude, and, and um, when you guys see the next coming episodes, you, you guys are going to be shocked. I'm glad you guys came back to see the first episode of season two. I'm grateful. God bless you all, man. Um, they're coming up on the segment. Um, I'm going to show you in this segment, so I'm going to show you a segment about, um, Fernando. His name is Fernando Cuevas. He's a guy, man. He's been there with us since day one. Help my mom. She works as a nursing maid. And she works with the union. He worked for the union. He retired this year. And he was 70. He's about 73, I think. And I've been around him. I went to a lot of different places. Um, you know, like different places where we did the, um, for protests and like, you know, we did the $15 an hour protest where we was at McDonald's Burger King. We protesting those sweet spots. And we do a lot of different things, man. So, you guys get ready to say, man. I can't leave rap alone.
There you go, everybody, right here. Open mics, man. Check it out what it says right here. We had open mics. This is something that we're going to be doing like often, more often. You're going to see a lot more open mics. This is the first open mic that I'll be going to. I'm recording this last year, show you a little clip of this guy's name is Kevin. Pretty nice.
slightest of winds, what is left when we stand bare to all that is without the comfort of fears? Past, only the shadow of future unknown, no northern star to guide my way here. Terra is not firma. I have only one option opened to me now. I step forward into the abyss and wonder, will I dream? Where does our soul go when we sleep? It gives it flight. It rides on dreams into the night sky of our imagination like a feather dancing upon the wind. But where should it light? On the shoulder of a loved one we long to see? On the soft green grass of the glade next to the gurgling brook? Shall it dart through the sun, dappled pines, growing tall up on the mountain, or perhaps down into the hole of our darkest depths. Yes, I say yes to this and more, for when the dawn is casting its first rays of scarlet light, our soul returns to us and whispers into our ear. All the wonders it has seen, we can share in all these things, and it resides in us now forever. I look outside today and feel the beauty of our Creator's purpose, that each and every day is a blank canvas waiting for us to lay our vision upon, and in so doing, create an endless masterpiece for ourselves and others. Last night, I looked up to the heavens, and only the brightest of stars penetrated to my sight. Even in the dark of the night, there are stars to shine down upon us. It is never so dark that we cannot know the sun will rise in the morning, a new dawn to flood warmth and light to all the dark recesses of ourselves. I know the stars are all there, billions of them, if I could only lift the veil. I feel like this is my life, straining to see behind the veil, that lets only a twinkle of all that lies beyond. I must be patient and watchful, have faith that one day I will look up and all of heaven will open wide. But for now, I focus on the stars I can see and gain peace knowing I will be there when I am ready. Guillermo, nice name. Thank you. Well, the first song tonight is a romantic song from Paraguay and North Argentina, Brazil frontier. Belongs to a history from the Indians that the name of the tribe is Guarani. The name of the sun is Memories of Ipaparaí. Ipacaraí means e water. Pacaraí means tears that are falling down from the sky. And the story is about a princess called Cunyatai that fall in love with a conqueror, a Spanish general and they fall in a very intensive love. So the gods of the Guarani Indians were so serious that they convert her on E. They make her water. And the only way that they find to meet each other was every day in the afternoon to the night when he was going to cry by his love, and she gave to him the praise for falling the lake of Ipacaray. <laughs> Por el camino, 
viejas melodías de Guaraní y con el embrujo de tus canciones iba renaciendo tu amor en mí y en la noche hermosa de plenilunio de tu blanca mano sentí el calor que con sus caricias me dio el amor. The second song is an Italian Argentine song. It's extremely Tutta la vita che ha ganato il tuo ciccio l'ha guardato perché non è sonchi, perché non è sonchi. Poi ciccio non c'è molti del dinero, se da buona vita e non soffre già fa. Va cargato di brillante si maneca il gran batón. Quando vega su un marchante le repite esta canción. Con le tamate le fa su lío e fatto la tortu. Io vivo di la renta e per la vita va già lo vendì. This stage, we're going to be playing some music for us tonight as well. And we still have a lot of performers left, so hang out with us, grab a drink, grab some food. Just go until 10. I don't know what I'm doing tonight. No, let's not even mention it. I'm trying to get that off before, Oh, another hand for Guillermo. Well, maybe you won't have any problem understanding this. My name is Ray Fry. I'm, I go by Ray Fry, local guy. I, I might have a stage name, but I don't make any money, so <laughs> no big deal. Anyway, are we are. Can you hear anything? Because I got nothing. You can hear my guitar? Turn my volume up. Yes. All right, I got it. Well, I'll get a little pop. Okay. I like your ballad, so I'm going to give you some tonight.
knelling foretelling the end indwelling the beginning. Inverted, converted, deconstructed, and alerted, a warning to those who take heed. In silence left waiting, mastered and baiting, the hook red and waiting for all that I'm hating. Against repression I'm grating to be heard. O oh, harbinger bird, cacophonous word to the sight quite absurd, but I hear it. Can you die? Can I live? Can you take? Can I give? But I'm not giving in, and you feel it. Right. Something a little different here, huh? Called Nephilim. When she heard, when she spread her white tarnished wings, echoes of pearlescent promise lost, I knew my undoing entwined in every rapturous sinew. I knew I was undone, as she was not the one. Her doldrum dramatics, anticlimatic fanatics, lovers long dead in your mind, in your bed. I'm drowned in the torrents of all you've never said. So the pendulum swings, winds tear off your wings and leaves you like us. Blood, bone, and strings, live wire, living dead. Thank you. What form of smoldering flame is this? Rankling and graying light diffuse. She is pain, a cinder that will not die, interred in pitch black heat, burning to white ash. My darkening soot stains thoughts. See you, see so well, I can tell. Cut away this ground you found satisfactory before I eat you in one single bite. Burning tongue on bitter spite, fueled by former flames. A, a, conflagra a conflagration she caught beneath the compressed fields of a thousand unburned blades, waiting to be consumed, entombed set in stone, made well, my personal crimson hell. Thank you. So that's pretty much it, man. Um, I know I was supposed to release this here on the True Juice Show basically on Thursday. It's pretty much still Thursday night. I know it's late. Hope you guys still check it out, man. You know I've been busy, man, trying to put it together, man. Um, I got some laying down because, like, basically, with all that's been going on, there's so much I want to talk about before I wrap it up, man. I know everything's been going good, you know, you guys. I just hope that you guys enjoyed the show that I had put it together for you. This is just a little bit of what's going to come, you know, because I got more coming. I still got to release, you know, a lot more stuff. And I got more stuff that I'm working on. Um, I got the concert that I'm work, working on. Basically, the concert is um, it's going to take place in Orlando, Florida. Um, it's going to be going down in November. I'm trying to see how I can go ahead and get out there and, and find a way to get out there. It's like $20 a ticket. I'm selling some tickets, man. I just need some support, man. Then I got to, um, I got to show up. I'm trying to do a show next week. So, True Jew's on the comeback, but I'm just letting y'all know all y'all cast calling yourself True Jew is, is, is dead. It's pretty much dead. My label's already set. I just gotta go on out there and go get my team together. So, you know, I wanna talk about a few things, though. My boy Charlemagne, I love his show, man. Um, Charlemagne's show, I know, I don't know if anybody, any one of you guys ever seen it. It's called um, Uncommon Sense with Charlemagne. That show is a nice show i liked it because you get a lot of, he talks about everything for the week so i figured now since he's doing something like that i figured i'll do this and incorporate something like his show to my show to show you more what my show is about and and basically also not only do i want to do that i also want to discuss about empire remember um i don't know if any of you guys saw my other clips but i did talk about that i was gonna go out there and try and get on empire so Um, 
gonna start showcasing her. We're gonna start discussing her starting the next episode, I believe. Not this one. This is the very first. This is just an introduction of what's to come. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said before, hope you guys enjoyed the open mic. I'm gonna be doing a lot more stuff. There's a lot more stuff I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be more and more active now. Thanks to you guys. And I got a little fit going up, you know. I still request my music online. I'm still trying to get my music played, played and everything. Put it on Pandora, you know, get whatever I can to get something off. See what we can do, cause I'm on the I'm on the promote. And speaking of love and hip hop, LA, I do love that show. I can't lie. I'm not big on reality shows, but I cannot lie. Love and hip hop, LA is the bomb. You know, to me it is. I don't know, but I'm about to go turn that on in a second, man. I'm about to go go ahead and get that remote. Pop on my um, I love hip hop, LA. Raging in them. Now, basically, I do want to drop before I even go and click on to that. I do want to drop a little line in reference to that show. After watching Hollywood Divas close out for the season, I think they're supposed to return in December, according to TV One. But um, I think that basically, if Ray J, I mean, I'm not throwing no shade at Ray J. I'm actually throwing props to Ray J. I think Ray J should go ahead and go get with um. Tiara Marie, man. That's just my opinion. Princess is nice and all, but I think you no know, no sister's been more down for Ray J than Tiara. I think if a lot of brothers pick the right kind of women that that are down for them and willing to do whatever for them and look out for them and you know be that pit bull for them, be that lioness for them, you know, like Tiara Marie seemed to be for Ray J, they would have been married and had kids already. In my opinion. Their life would have been good. But this is just my opinion. Because from what I see for the two of them, they, they're pretty much alike. So I just want to say shout out to them for doing their thing. And, um, I love hip hop in LA. Whatever you call it. I love hip hop in LA. I believe that's what you call it. But I like that. I kind of got into the reality show just a little recently. And I see what Omari on and what the rest of them are doing. And, um, what other things I like talking about? Oh, well, since Empire is now going to get ready to do a season two, I think it's decided that I drop my stuff. And I think I don't have much else to talk about for this episode. This is just a quickie because this is the first of more days to come. I'm getting ready to drop some more stuff. I got some stuff that I haven't even, that you guys haven't even seen yet that's about to come. Like I told you, man, I got some thing going on with the Michael Moreno that's going on at the city limits in Melbourne, Florida. I got it. If you guys don't know anything about it, just check it out on the fly. But I'd like to thank you guys all for watching the Truth Show. This is season two, episode one. Job works, job less. We are out. I'll get you hooked up on some more stuff next week. Or whenever I get a chance. I'm trying to definitely start doing shooting again for next week to get another episode. So it's not easy to do it because in my, in my situation, I'm looking for a job that can sustain me. Because right now, we're going to say whatever I want to do. So we need to do the show. I'm too focused on trying to find another job. I'll definitely try to give you what I'll do is whether it be half a show, partial, whatever, it'll still be the same stuff. You know, it's me doing everything by myself. I do all the work. As far as the performing, you see me doing it. As far as the music, you see me doing it. Producing, I've done a little bit of it and everything. So. And speaking of that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, by the time when the next episode comes out, that'll be by the time when Empire already hears. I'll definitely have an idea on my album date. And I'm working on that flow for Empire. Same week when Empire comes out, I'll work on the flow. Not when it comes, like after it comes out, my flow will already be made, probably likely and recorded before the episode airs. But trust me, coming back. I want to give a shout out to Mr. Michael Emotep and everybody that's there. Um, any one of you guys who I have to shout out, I haven't thought about it. Please forgive me. Uh, there's so much going on with me right now. I'm trying to get together for the show. So keep it confident. So. Anyways, man, we're going to be discussing a lot more topics. I'm going to come more prepared, and I'm going to bring you some new stuff, man. Until then, man, enjoy enjoy the entertainment that I got for you at the end of the show. And um, I hope you like, you know, I hope you support me, man, and, and, and really help your hip-hop artists. Now, forgive me if I may curse every now and then in my music, but that's just me. That's just how I feel. Because I'm going through a lot. Sometimes I got to go out there and I just, you know, do what I have to do to get out there and just feel good and whatever. But, you know, it is what it is. I got to trying to stand on my feet and make it as a label i'm seated i'm making momentum so i'm trying to keep that momentum built up and working on lots of other things man i want to show you some more projects like some drawings that i'm working on a lot of you 
see my announcements on Facebook about some drawings, but you'll see that in the next episode or or further on. So, you know, it is what it is. All right. Peace. Jaw works. God bless. Love you all. Thank you for watching the Chuju Show. The following clips contains harsh language. Please be advised. Yeah. Transform the time. Yo, we're gonna bust this. Here I come, one, two, three, four, and I'm done. Bad motherfucking niggas got them haters on the run. Yeah, I got tired of them Decepticons. Bad motherfucking nigga acting like they hard. But they ain't fucking up cause they ain't real like me. The motherfucking MCG, yo, I'm true as can be. Yeah, T-R-U, hyphen D-R-U I spit the real game, who the fuck you talking to? Niggas talk that shit in that weak ass industry game You niggas know you're all about the money and the fame Y'all niggas straight up lame, you ain't got no game Here I come with my shot, I'm busting, got my aims Niggas wanna come and say something, nigga I got the bad motherfucking shit, heat on the trip Now, I can't help how I do the baddest motherfucking nigga Choose my game, come through yeah, cause my flow sometimes get sloppy Niggas do all you can, but you can never drop me Hit me anywhere how I go I got this motherfucking flow, all on the pro Niggas wanna talk that mess, here I come Bad motherfucking nigga, come on the jump Yeah, what? I'm so fucking real I know the deal all in my motherfucking battlefield I'm so crazy, these niggas try to take me down When I ain't no motherfucking clown, I put it down Yeah, I said it again, cause that's how I spit Motherfucking shit, I'm straight legit, true legend, fucking up for entertainment, yeah, playing shit about the basement, yeah, that's that freestyle flow, here I fucking come again with them down with them blows, y'all niggas weak and living like G.I. Joe, cause I done upgrade like Transformers, niggas you ain't know, I'm off in this prime, I lay them niggas straight up and clearing, these niggas know that ain't got no pass in this sharing, cause I'm taking the fucking game over, motherfucking nigga better look up on your shoulder, yeah, my freestyle is stopping, man. I came back on the real. Y'all niggas still can't chop me. Yeah, cause I've been doing this since day one. The baddest motherfucking nigga with the big guns. Here I come, y'all niggas better fucking go. Here I come with this badass freestyle flow. True, true motherfucking show. Yeah, here I come. Yeah, oh, niggas ain't seen it. Niggas ain't seen it. Ain't perfect, but it's still worth it. Peace, one love, bless up, job works. True Drew's the name, 2006, 2007, I'll make it plain for y'all haters. Yo, clean for the radio one time. Here I come. And you know what? I forgot something, man. Tang, you know I was going to forget something. It was inevitable. But here's what I forgot to talk about. I just want to say that those people who are criticizing the show Empire, um, it's really no point to criticize it when you're not making a better solution. You guys say that how it was... A gay guy named Lee Daniels who wrote and I guess produced it or whatever with the series. But you gotta look at on a, on the other aspects of the fact that maybe just because he sold it to Rupert Murdoch and whatnot, that it poses some kind of sell because Rupert Murdoch is a racist so called Jew. Yeah, we know he is, but he's married to an Asian woman. Uh, a lot of racist bigots are married to Asian women. It goes to show you where the mentality of some Asian women lie to as well. So you have to question their mentality. But we know it's all about the money usually when it comes to those kind of men that they marry. But the point I'm trying to say here is that you can criticize Show by Empire, but are you creating a network that can take down the evil, so called evil Fox News network that is airing the show so when empire returns and comes back on the 23rd which is a few days from now by the time when you see this episode empire be airing the following few days from that but the point i'm trying to say is this you guys can criticize all you want to but it's giving other people break breaks that they need like people like me who don't have a break i could i'm taking a chance to try it you know i have a break i have a little break but it's not enough it's not i'm not getting enough promotion because i don't I'm not making enough money to teach to promote my work and my work I know it's good and I stand behind it which is so good that I'm trying to get um, tickets sold for a concert that I got going on in Orlando so I have a little bit on momentum but to break it down and really say don't blame Lee Daniels go after Rupert Murdoch you guys want to take out Fox News you take away Empire 
But at the same time, you got to realize that AT&T is a racist company, too. AT&T canceled. I think it got rid of her. Did something with Power, which is 50 Cent show. So nobody's really never discussed anything about that. But they were so quick to say, oh, we need to stop watching Empire because Empire depicts African-Americans and people of color in a negative light. But at the same time, who's, who's, who's the one that, what are you doing to make the issues of black people in America and beyond better? By sitting there complaining about the show. You're like, oh, the show is bad, the show is bad. But the show is so great that it's coming back for a second season. And not only that, but the show is also being watched by many other people. And you got other people that are going to be in I think Mariah Carey is scheduled to be in there, Marissa Tomei, and all these other people. So when you guys sitting right here saying that Empire sucks, and it, and it depicts African Americans and people of color in a negative light, then you basically, and then you're having no solution. You're basically just saying that, hey, we might as well just keep talk bad about it and take away the job from a black person who wouldn't have a job otherwise or it would be struggling. Maybe would have the job, but would be struggling worse off otherwise. I mean, you got to look at it right now. We're in the entertainment industry where the entertainment industry is run by a so-called secret society, which is true. I know that it is to a sense. That's why brothers like me can't get my phone door. That's why I'm so stupid. But at the same time, I came out with Can't Leave Rap Alone, which was a counter to all of that. And that could win me. That alone I know could win me a Grammy. And I'm not con- I'm not too I'm not overconfident or cocky about it, but music is talking about good things. And a lot of people I talk to they say music is great. And also the Che Changes and all these other people want to you know, with a deal with Dev Jam. So I'm considering to take the Dev Jam deal if I have to. You know, some people say Dev Jam is a little bit link, but it is what it is. But when you're struggling and you're trying to run a label and you can't find no how should I say the word I'm looking for? There's only one thing that's there's a middleman between you and the radio station. Because see today's radio station, if you want to get your music heard on the major radio station like iHeartRadio and them, you gotta have a, either a major label behind you or you have to have some type of distribution where your distributor doesn't work. Now the distributor that I gotta deal with are cool people called IMF, but the money I can't afford the deal that they're giving me, like it's like I gotta pay so much. Like I gotta put over a hundred dollars down to get it onto radio stations, and I gotta do it every month. So it's like basically I'm not making that kind of money to say that I can go ahead and do that. But point is the point I wanna talk about is these are my final thoughts. Uh, I wanted to talk about how people talk about Empire before it comes back. You guys are talking bad about the show. Those of you guys who hate on the show, just don't watch it. Simple. Don't watch it. If you don't like it, don't watch it. Because at the end of the day, sometimes if you want to make money, you have to make money from your worst enemy to be where you need to be. And at the same time, instead of being your worst enemy, furthermore worst enemy, you try to make sure you make the you, you kill your You kill your enemy with kindness and give him your best. And at the same time, you show him you can do better and you can take it to the next level. And eventually you come out with your own thing. But I'm saying I respect what Michael Imhotep and all these other brothers That are critical of the show Empire And probably Boyce Watkins might be critical of it But at the same time I respect Professor Boyce Watkins And I do respect Michael Imhotep and what you're talking about But at the same time If you guys are not providing a network or an outlet For people like Terrence Howard, Taraji Vance And be able to afford them And be able to put them in the show Where it gets a lot of views And it's an it's an excessive network then we don't have nothing to talk about the best example is own if you look at own with oprah winfrey her own network it's a great network but unfortunately you can't watch it if you don't have any cable if you don't have any cable you're out of the question if you don't have any satellite out of the question if you have basic tv you're not seeing you see what i'm saying you're not seeing oprah just like power the show power i love power since the power show is ending and it's making Roof Empire to come back again like it did the last time. Power's a great show. Power, um, that show is really what, what kind of, it has, it is, is what people say our empire is, the music industry version of power, which I agree in the sense it is, but it's its own show at the same time. It has its own right. But, I mean, power, you can't see that unless you have cable or satellite. But Empire, you can easily see it on a national TV. It's no problem. Bad, it's out there on national TV. That's all it is. So, um, I just wanted to speak on that. And on, on Empire, man, you know, I'm going to try and definitely audition for that as soon as possible. I'm going to definitely try and do it before the end of September. I'm going to actually do it around the time, like I said, around the time when the season two airs, which will be... Four, four days, not even though. I just say six, five or six days, I'm sorry, six or five days. Yeah, 
man. I'm working on some other projects, man. Just wanted to speak on that, man. Because I have nothing more to say. I'm out, man. Sorry about that. Peace, my Oh, damn. I forgot something again. Shout out to my boy, Charlamagne. I'm my boy, Uncommon Sense with Charlamagne. I love your show, man. I just wanted to say that real quick, man. Anyways, bad about. <laughs> The maker of the True Drew Show is a proud promoter and supporter of BYOBtraining.com. Check out Adisha Brown Monday through Fridays with DJ Six Cents, 12.55 p.m. Adisha Brown, fitness trainer, BYOBtraining.com. Let's go there for more information. Oh, 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 oh,